Alright, so on this video, I will cover and talk about domain because um, a lot of you have already purchased your own account. So the next step is being able to connect your brand inside your own high-level sub-account, okay? So let's talk about first what is a domain because we have a lot of um, newbies here who don't know exactly what it is, okay? So let me just explain it um, in a way that all of us can actually understand, okay? So a domain is actually like an address for a website on the internet. So just like your house has an address that tells people where to find it. So parang yung bahay mo, di ba, block 6, lot 2 for example. So that actually tells Shopee Delivery or Lazada where or, you know, what address to tell the guard para they can go visit your house. Okay, so the main is just like that. The main tells the computer or at least the internet where to find a specific business using um, a unique URL or a unique um, u domain name, okay? So, when you type in, in, in your browser, let's say JT Virtual Assistant, so my business is actually JT Virtual Assistant, um, you go to Google and just type in JT Virtual Assistant, then you can actually see that there is a website attached to my business. So, if you open it up, you can then see that I have this domain uh, unique URL link attached to my, my website. So this actually tells you na for you to visit my business um, since we're online, you have to use that jtvirtualassistance.com address to get to, you know, again, the website. Okay, so domains, again, make it easy for us to remember and find websites without having to know any com um, any complicated na computer addresses. Okay, so uh, most of the time, Obviously, if you're a newbie, you don't have a domain yet, right? Because you're just starting, you're a freelancer, you don't have a domain yet. But why do we actually need a domain? So normally, if you are in the business for quite some time, um, you have to have an online presence. So in the past, kapag nag apply ka ng trabaho, meron kang resume. So let's think of it as a resume, pero posted online. Okay, because this actually tells your potential clients that, okay, this is my business, this is what I'm offering. This is all about me. So if you'd notice, my website tells them what services I'm offering, you know, who are in my team, what do we do, why us. So this actually tells, tells them exactly kung bakit they have to work with us, okay? So if you're a newbie and you just got your sub account, I'm not asking you to get your uh, domain yet, okay? Wala pa po kayong established business, so don't uh, purchase your domain yet. Unless kung kayo man naman na, why not, okay? Um, I think most questions are, Saan po ba ako makakabili ng domain? Okay? Because I think I now have high level and I'd like to buy my domain from high level. The thing is, guys, high level is not a domain host. Meaning, they don't sell domains inside the platforms. But you can connect your domain inside high level. Okay? So, what I'm trying to say is, you can buy your domain name first. Which you can go to um, websites like Namecheap. So, this is a domain host. Okay? So, let's say, nakaisip ka ng pangalan. Ang ganda ko kind of business name. So, this is how you'd like people to get to know your business online. Like, um, can you check if this domain name is actually available? So, here you can see that. Uh, you can see how much it's gonna cost you to keep that domain. So here, you can see that uh, to get this domain, you just have to pay $10.28 a year. So meaning, pwede man itong bilhin para sa'yo, you can save it for the, um, for the future or for future use na pwede man gamitin tong domain na to. Okay? Uh, there are domains like, for example, no, ako gusto, gusto kong bilhin yung jtva.com kasi habang-haba ako dun sa company name na jtvirtualassistance.com you'd notice that this domain is on a premium plan so most likely somebody have purchased this in the past hence it's actually very expensive right now so it's not available in the market for a cheaper price so most of the time um ang domain na dapat mabilhin should only be ranging between you know probably less than 50 dollars but you shouldn't be spending this much unless otherwise sobrang established na ng business mo and you can actually afford to buy uh, the domain name that you actually like okay so yan right so there are other domain providers like uh, cloudfair um, GoDaddy. So, other than Namecheap, you can use those domain providers. Okay? Um, right, marami, marami pa. So, just go to Google and then just type in domain host provider para makita nyo uh, what are the options you have available. Pero for me kasi, I really like Namecheap kasi mas user-friendly siya for me. Okay? But again, that's just my um, suggestion. Okay? So, now, let's talk about um, see, I now have a domain. Um, how can I actually connect that 
too high level. So, normally guys, domain can actually be used as your website, um, again, domain. So, meaning, kung meron ka ng website or you, want, you plan to create a website inside high level, pwede nyo nang i-connect yung domain nyo para maging available na siya in public. And, and at the same time, pwede nyo na rin gamitin, gamitin yung domain nyo to be able to create an email server para makagamit na rin kayo ng email functionality ni high level. Okay? So, again, going back, uh, masyado ng maraming introduction about domain, but hope everybody understand what it is and when exactly you would be buying your domain. Okay? So, pag-establish na kayo, establish na yung business nyo, uh, you have at least 3-4 clients already or more, or at least nakikita nyo naman na, na may um, consistent income, then go ahead and have a website, go ahead and get a dom like a domain right away. Okay? But some people, they also prefer to have it right away, especially if they have funds to invest on these things because it also helps you with your reputation. So, meaning, mas madali, mas madali mo maklose yung client because of the fact na I mean, because of the fact that you have an online presence. Anyway, yung domain name normally is ranging $10 or below. So, kung makakuha ka naman ng domain for a year na $10, like 500 pesos for the entire year, I think it's worth the investment. And then, gawin mo na lang yung website mo inside high level kasi libre naman siya. Okay? Anyway, so how can we connect your domain? So, sisi, nakabili na ako ng domain. Meron na akong business name. I just need to go ahead and create my website. So, to, to do that, all you need to do first is you have to go to the settings. And then, from here, please go to domains. So, that's, that's it, domain. And then, from here, click on add domain. So, whatever the domain that you'd like to use. So, for me, let's just say I have a couple of domains here. So, I'm in my Namecheap account. I'm just gonna go ahead and try to use. I'm just gonna go ahead and use um, app that. Uh, so, let me see. What is my domain? So, yeah. jhlpilipinas.com. So, I'm just gonna go ahead and use app that gohighlevelpilipinas.com. Okay? So, I'm gonna go ahead and click on continue. So, now, this will automatically help you configure your domain to be connected with Namecheap. So, just wait a little bit because there are details that you have to uh, modify inside your domain host para mag-connect po si high level to your domain host. Okay? So, this is retrieving your DNS records. Okay? And then, you just, you just have to wait for a couple of minutes. Okay? So, now, it's telling you this is what you need to do. Okay? You always have this... Um, option to say or to click on watch the help video for uh, for you to understand how to connect it with your domain host okay but since you're watching this video mas better kasi i can now go ahead and help you update this okay for those uh, people na bago sa domain bago sa dns records so dns records are like your phone book for the internet so dns stands for domain name system so there are pieces of information that tells the computers how to find and connect to a website so Technically, para makonek mo daw si high level, you need to be able to get to that phone book, um, sa, not phone book, but the phone system in your domain host para this two can actually be connected. So, how are we gonna go about this? So, from here, mag-log in ka sa Namecheap mo once you bought your domain name. And then, from here, look for domain list. So, normally, if you have multiple domains, you can just go ahead and look for that domain name na you'd like to manage. So, here, click on uh, which domain you'd like to go ahead and manage or update yung DNS record. So, just again, domain list. And then, from here, click on manage domain. Okay? Once you do that, please look for advanced DNS because this is where we can actually add this domain um, information or uh, domain records, okay? So, from here, you just have to go ahead and uh, add new records. So, here, makikita nyo may host records. So, kung ano yung nilak nakalagay dito, that's what you have to do. Okay? So, ibig sabihin, sinasabi sa'yo dito, napunta ka daw sa domain name, tapos i-add mo tong record na to. This means that this, you know, this information needs to show up in your domain name. So, let's just go ahead and do that. Um, what I'm gonna do is, Click on add new record and then I'm gonna have to look for that type of record na high level is asking me to add. So, it says CNAM. So, I'm just gonna go ahead and look for, not sure if I pronounce that right, pero CNAM. And then here, sabi sa host field daw, ilagay ko yung app. And then sa target or required value, ilagay ko lang daw po itong data na to. So, just it's a merely copy and paste um, thing. So, once you've done that, click on OK or the check mark. And then click on verify record. So it's gonna tell you that sometimes it's gonna take 30 seconds, or sometimes it will actually 
um, wait at least 24 hours for your domain to propagate. So, normally 24 hours yung wait time para mag-connect tong dalawa. But the fastest is like 30 seconds or less. So, right now, we'll just wait until the system connects these two platforms together. So, you're connecting your domain to high level para magamit mo na siya into your website. So, let's just wait. Yep. So, there you go. We can now go ahead and see that it's now connected. So, if you now have an existing funnel, just like for me, uh, ginawa ko kayo ng sign-up page, all you need to do is connect that funnel um, into that website page or domain na ginawa mo. Okay? So, here, it's gonna tell you, set default page. Alright? So, to link your domain, go ahead and link it. Okay? So, normally, if you guys didn't com uh, connect your domain, what will happen is that makakakita ng error message na 404. So, that's the reason why you normally get that error 404 kasi hindi connected properly yung domain. So, if I try to go back to my funnel, so here, so para makagawa kayo ng websites nyo, ng funnels nyo, you can go ahead and go back to the main page. In the left-hand menu, there is this option called Sites. And this is where you can see that you can build either funnels or websites. So, for me, I did the sign-up page for, you know, for our um, sub-account program. So, here, you can always modify the settings. Okay, so, tama pa naman yan. I think it's still live. Uh, let me just visit that website here. Not choose a plan, but... Okay, so let me change. Kasi there is this direct link to access that. Okay, so yep, that is still working. So meaning to say, my domain is actually now connected uh, to this, you know, to this landing page. Okay, so here in the website. So again, guys, if you plan to go ahead and build websites, you can go ahead and do so. And you can even choose from multiple templates that you can you know, you can rebrand or update for your own business. So, pwede kayong update the logo nyo, ng picture nyo. Uh, let's just say you want this, you know, want this specific template. Go ahead and click on continue to use that template. And then, you can go ahead and modify uh, this specific website template para magamit nyo na agad siya sa business ninyo. Okay, so there are like, uh, not thousands, I'm, I'm exaggerating it, but there are a lot, a uh, lot of, uh, website templates that you can choose from right away from from there. So, yeah, refresh nyo lang. So, normally, the the the, the troubleshooting steps um, available for high level is always clearing cache and cookies or trying to use a different browser because this works really well uh, with Google Chrome. So, please make sure that you use uh, Google Chrome uh, whenever you use high level. And dapat mabilis din yung internet nyo kasi this requires um, like a fast internet connection then. So, normally, pag hindi naglo-load, that's because of your internet connection. Okay? So, anyway, um, now I have that template and I can go ahead and edit this template. So, you'll have homepage na pwede nyong edit. You have the contact page na pwede nyong edit. You have the about us page. So, it's a pretty drag and like pretty simple. Drag and drop lang po siya. So, if you open it up, okay, pwede na siya i-update ng whatever you'd like. Just, just don't forget to save and then i-publish when you're done. Okay? So, hindi ko walk through kayo on how to create a website, but that's just pretty much how you can get your website started. And then here, which is connected to domain, dito nyo na ngayon i-click kung ano yung domain na gusto nyo i-connect sa website. Please take note that you can create multiple subdomains. So, for example, yung main uh, domain mo for your website is www.gohighlevelpilipinas.com while yung um, funnels mo naman is actually... Uh, different, pwede pa rin, parang sign-up page mo lang kasi si Funnels, or normally, um, paano ko ba sasabihin yung different? So, website is like, literally, yung pwede mong gamitin. So, like, website is like for general purpose, um, like, you can pro provide information about a business, like your business, um, or your products and services. While si Funnels kasi, pwede rin siya lang for a specific product lang. Like, focused siya to... Um, on a specific goal. So, kung for lead generation, uh, lead generation lang siya. Normally, one page lang ang fu uh, funnels, like one page landing page ang funnels while website will have your uh, multiple menus in it. Okay? So, yung key difference, I think, <laughs> websites inform and engage while funnels naman uh, helps you convert. Yan. Okay? So, I hope this answers um, yung 
questions about domains, websites. Uh, after this, definitely the next thing you're gonna do is you have to connect your email or add your email configuration naman in the system. So this means you can buy a subdomain, uh, meaning here, add service. Pwede kayong gumamit ng Gmail, but definitely still create a subdomain. What I'm trying to say is, buy a dedicated subdomain for your email marketing campaign para hindi po napupunta sa spam yung message nyo. So, for me, let's just say for this account, um, if I want to use okay, this system. So, LC is just telling you kung saan connected yung itong high level. So, LC means lead connector. So, pwede nyo naman sabihin GHL para pag pumunta kayo sa DNS server nyo with your domain name, madali nyo masabi na, okay, this is for my GHA, uh, go high level GHA, uh, GHL na main mail uh, func uh, function para dito to. Then you can be like GHL Pilipinas Pilipinas.com And then you follow the same process. You add this and then you also verify. Okay, so add and verify. Tapos, ganun din. The same thing. You can either add the record manually or you can just click on continue para si system will automatically propagate this uh, DNS records into your domain. Pero kung hindi siya nag-automatic, uh, nag pwede nyo naman siyang i-add yung records manually into your, again, domain host. So, let's just wait. Ayan. So, here it's asking you to just go ahead and go to your DNS settings and add these records. So, I'm just gonna go ahead and click on add new record. Da, lagyan ko daw siya ng text type. So, it's mainly copy and paste. Okay. Um, text. Another text record. Ayan. Tapos. Tapos, kailangan din daw natin i-add yung CNAM record. Mail gun. Tapos, GHL mail. So, MX record is all the way to the mail settings. So, just go to the mail settings option. And then, here is where you can find this. MS records, GHL mail, host, mail gun. Tapos, priority is normally 10. Ba't ito naka 100? Ayan. So, just do this. And then, once done... email verify records okay so pag verified na lahat yan that means your account is now connected so pag nakakuha po kayo ng error just make sure that you're able to set this up correctly within your domain okay so pwede nyo rin siyang i-wait kasi again it sometimes it takes about 24 hours to configure uh, this domain okay so let me add this again Mm, tama naman, jhl.org Okay And then this one daw is the text Okay, so hindi mo pa siya ma-verify kasi sometimes it takes, again, few seconds or few hours to propagate. So, anyway, that's really it for domain. So, just wait. I-add nyo, i nyo lang siya and then make sure to go ahead and verify domain. So, it should say verified. All of them is verified para makapag-proceed ka na and actually go um, using your email campaign. Okay? So, yeah, I hope it clarifies the questions about domain and it also clarifies that you really can't buy your domain inside high level but you can actually build your website for free inside high level. Okay? So, yeah, I hope this video helps. If you have any questions, feel free to comment down below.